Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 34. This week I'm going to be discussing the projectile sensor, which is used to help photograph shooting bullets or other types of projectiles. And specifically I'm going to be discussing the improvements that I've made to the projectile sensor. Now for me engineering is usually an iterative process. By that I mean that I start out with a good idea or a good product and over time I incorporate new ideas and then release an improved version. And that's exactly what I've done with the projectile sensor here. This works pretty much the same as the old one. I've just added some new features that make it a little bit easier to use and if you have the old sensor there's really no need to get the new one but if you're buying a sensor today or in the future or if you're building it from the schematics that I provide online then you'll automatically get these improvements and there's going to be no extra cost. So to start off I'll show the improvements that I made to the projectile sensor. The first one is these red LEDs down here. Uh, these are on until a projectile or your finger uh, blocks these uh, sensors here and then the uh, LEDs go off. This is really useful when you're just trying to set up the uh, projectile board in the right position and make sure that everything's um, in the right place. The other improvement that I did was before I had this socketed system so that you could disconnect these sideboards from the, the bottom board and now um, everything's soldered together and the problem was sometimes that socketed system was getting um, jiggled around from the recoil of a gun and now being soldered directly together everything's a lot more firm and it's not going to get jostled around as easily. The uh, last improvement that I made was I put an extra resistor here that acts as a, a pull down resistor for these uh, the, the photo detectors and the reason I added that was just because before the uh, voltage on these was slowly going down and now it's a much more uh, square wave uh, which just means that the uh, sensor is a bit more responsive. Nobody was reporting any problems, but theoretically now these sensors will be faster reacting than they were before. So um, if you have a really fast bullet, this sensor might be uh, a little bit better than the old one. That's pretty much it for uh, the improvements. Like I said, they're pretty minor improvements, but when added up, um, makes a better sensor and, you know, there's no extra cost for it, so you might as well improve it like I did. Now the software for the uh, projectile sensor works exactly the same. Nothing has changed here. So the uh, distance is the distance from this um, sensor pair to where you actually want the projectile to be uh, when the photo is taken. So if you put in six inches that would mean six inches from here to where the projectile is is where the is when the photo would be taken and the way that's done is that the uh, projectile is going to be uh, approximately constant velocity um, and by measuring the speed it's going between these two sensors it can figure out how long it'll take for the projectile to get you know four inches away like this and then make sure that the uh, flash is triggered at that point in time so that the projectile is right here when the photo is taken. So that's basically how it works. Back on the menu, uh, high and low. This is just there for a, a really old version of the projectile sensor. It hasn't been around for years. Um, you always want that set to low with this projectile sensor. And uh, the distance you can switch between inches and centimeters. And then um, when you hit activate, everything is ready and now I'm just going to put my finger through the uh, sensor pair and you can see there that it reports back the uh, speed that the projectile went uh, through the sensors and it's reporting inches per second because it's relatively slow my fingers not very fast but if you shot a bullet through there it would shoot report back in feet per second or you know meters per second if you were in the uh, metric system these are some photos of Alan's setup for high-speed photography. I uh, will put some links to these photos in the uh, show notes and you can go check them out and see his description of, of why he set it up this way. I'll also put a link to Alan's Flickr account where you can go and see more of his high-speed photography shots. 
I think it's a great resource. He, one great thing he does is that he puts a description of each photo he takes and then will answer questions that people have about the setup. I think it's a really great tool uh, if you're looking to learn how he's done some of his shots or get inspiration for different shots because he has done a lot of different types of high-speed photography shots. And in my humble opinion, he's you know taking some of the better high-speed photography shots on the web right now. So yeah, definitely go and check out his Flickr account. Thanks for watching.